All right, so I'm gonna show you guys what I meal prep. This isn't what I meal prep every single week, it's just kind of what I'm feeling like today. So yes, this is a ton of mushrooms. There's about three packs of portobello and about three packs of cremini. Um, I've got a variety of potatoes, russet, Yukon and sweet, I believe that's what it is. I've got some tomatoes, some black beans, and some whole green lentils. Now there are going to be some other ingredients included in the meal prep that are not shown here, but in short, what I'm going to make is a lentil ceviche. This is great for meal prep because it doesn't have to be heated, so it tends to hold flavor really well. Um, I don't really like leftovers too much because they don't always taste that good when you heat them. And then I'm going to make two separate dishes with the mushrooms and the sweet potatoes, which will go in the oven. So stay tuned and let me show you how I meal prep. So for starters, we have to slice and season our mushrooms and our potatoes. We are going to cook them separately and they will be baked in the oven at about 375 to 400 degrees. We don't so let's get started. I'm going to be slicing my portobello mushrooms kind of thin, um, lengthwise and widthwise. And then I'm going to go ahead and slice my cremini mushrooms the same way. I'm mainly just slicing the larger ones. The small ones, I'm just letting them bake whole. It's almost done here. This was a lot of mushrooms to slice, by the way and I'm gonna throw them into a glass baking dish. Now, go ahead and peel your potatoes. And do not cut yourself like I did last time I prepped potatoes. So I have sweet potatoes, russet, and I'm trying to remember what these other ones are called, but these long white ones, yeah, throw those in too. Oh, before I forget, make sure that you put your lentils to boil. I'm using green lentils. So I just finished cutting up the potatoes and now I'm going to transfer them over to a cookie sheet. As you can see, I cut them pretty thin. You see. So I'm going to transfer them all to the cookie sheet. It's okay if the potatoes are kind of layered on top of each other. Now I'm grabbing a few seasonings. I'm using Trader Joe's Everyday Seasoning, my freaking favorite. And then I also use their garlic salt and just regular fresh cracked pepper. And I use a lot of pepper because it's my favorite. We're going to use avocado oil, better than olive oil and coconut, taste-wise. And then just give it a shake, season more if you need to. And I actually just tossed it around with a fork because they weren't really uh, transferring the seasonings well since there's so many potatoes on that cookie sheet. Go ahead and put it in the oven and now we're gonna work on our mushrooms. So mushrooms, I'm using the same seasoning that I used for the potatoes. I'm putting more black pepper on the mushrooms because I love how mushrooms taste when they are really full of pepper. Same thing, add your avocado oil, give them a shake. Toss them around a bit to make sure that the seasonings transfer. And put them in the oven. So now, go ahead and grab a white or purple onion. I actually grab a big bowl that I can use for all of the scraps. So I'm cutting out all of the, you know, tough parts of the onion and just tossing those away. And don't mind my cutting skills, I know it doesn't look that pretty but go ahead and dice up your onions. I like a chunky ceviche, so I'm gonna leave the pieces pretty big. I don't really dice them up super tiny like others do. Fun fact, I never cry when I cut onions. I don't know why, I used to, and now I don't. So transfer them all into your larger bowl. I'm actually picking out the pieces that were really big because although I like it chunky, I don't want like giant pieces of onion either. So that's what I'm doing there. I'm picking out the pieces that are really big and I'm also separating the pieces that are stuck together. So now we're gonna work on our tomatoes. Pull out all of the seeds so that way your ceviche is not super watery. 
and we're going to end up chopping these tomatoes up. Also, get a couple of limes. These are pretty big, so I only need two of them. Other times, if they're small limes, you may need up to four. And use a lemon or lime squeezer to pour all of the beautiful lime juice right into your big bowl. And definitely taste it as you go to see how uh, limey your ceviche is. Some people like it super limey and others don't. I actually like it very limey, so I'm using a lot. Seasonings, of course. So here I have regular real salt. Um, I don't really use table salt ever. I use sea salt, Himalayan, or real salt. And then next I'm using cumin. Just eyeball it however much you want. I don't use too much of that. And now Trader Joe's has this really awesome chili lime seasoning that I'm a big fan of. It's kind of like a super upgraded tajin. Has a, a kick and it's really limey. I like it a lot. And then of course some garlic salt. What I like about Trader Joe's garlic salt is it's sea salt. It's not table salt. So go ahead and mix that around. Allow the tomato and the onion to kind of marinate in that mixture of seasonings and lime. And now go ahead and grab a cucumber, peel your cucumber, and we are going to chop this right up and add into our bowl of tomato and onion. So make sure you get that whole peel off. It just tastes better without the peel, at least that's my opinion. I generally like the peel of cucumber, just not in this recipe. So you want to go ahead and slice it down the middle and then slice it down the middle one more time and turn them over and chop up in small pieces. Like I said, you don't have to chop them up super fine. You can just make, you know, reasonably sized pieces. I had to switch knives because the other knife was not a good uh, tool for chopping up the cucumber. So that's why I always have two on deck. And now dump those all into your bowl. And now my favorite, favorite herb ever, cilantro. I use an entire bunch of cilantro. And if I had more, I probably would have used more. This stuff smells so good. I love it. Okay, go ahead and add all that in there and mix up. What I love about the ceviche recipe is majority of the recipe is raw. Oh, shoot, that's right, chili powder. I almost forgot. So I went ahead and added chili powder and I'll go back to mixing. But as I was saying, I love this recipe because it incorporates a lot of raw food and raw food is just so much better for you. So I'm adding a serrano chili. The chili powder was not enough. I want a little bit more of a kick. So I'm chopping up the serrano pretty fine. And I actually leave the seeds in there because I like the extra spice. That's optional though. So now my lentils are ready. I'm putting them in the freezer because I cannot add them to the ceviche when they're really hot. So a few minutes later, once they've been in the freezer for a bit, I go ahead and transfer them over to my bowl of veggies and fruits. So go ahead and toss that around and you are all set. Look at how gorgeous this recipe turned out. And I actually add them on homemade toasted tostadas and top with avocado. And now our potatoes are ready. So go ahead and let those cool. And what we're gonna do, I'm gonna now build my meal prep. So what I do is I add steamed rice, the mushrooms in the oven, a spoonful of those potatoes, and then I'm going to add some mixed greens from Trader Joe's. I always get the organic. Give yourself a generous amount of greens. And I love the Primal Kitchen Vegan Ranch. If you haven't tried this stuff, it is like the best thing ever. You don't need too much either. It's so good, you don't even need a lot. And then of course, top with some hemp seeds. You can also top with avocado too, but uh, hemp seeds were just my preference this time. And then I always add red chili. If you wanted to meal prep it, this is what it would look like. I seriously cleaned my plate in like 
three seconds. That meal prep was so good. What I love about it is you can keep everything refrigerated in separate containers if you wanted to and just grab it as you need it. You can also meal prep it the way that I showed you in that second slide where you put it in a Tupperware. You can take it to work or take it to wherever you're going. Um, it is one of my favorite ways to meal prep. You just make a lot of one ingredient and then you grab it as you need it. And don't forget for breakfast, the reason why I did not add it in there is because I always just have a fruit smoothie for breakfast. And I have done a YouTube video specifically going over my fruit smoothie recipe. So make sure you drink a lot of water and make sure you're getting all of your calories in so you can always modify the quantity of these items as you need them. And I hope you enjoy. Thank you so much for tuning into this video. I'm so glad that you guys reached out and recommended this video. It's a video I've been meaning to do for a long time anyway. So now that I had you guys requesting it, it just put some fire under my ass to actually do the video. So enjoy. <laughs>